the RY Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, National President Yerima Shesima has refuted reports of threatening that the North would go to war over NSAS protests. The said report, not by Daily Post, had claimed Shetima threatened that the North would go to war if President Muhammad Buhari is removed by Southerners. Condemning the report, Shetima describes such claims as false and malicious, which should be disregarded. He made the denier through a statement signed by the group's legal advisor, Barista Abubakar Lima. The statement described the group's national president as a Democrat who is not against opposing views. According to the statement, saying the attention of the AYCF has been drawn to news to a news by an online platform in which a national president was purportedly threatening war against the NSAS protests. The online newspapers Sensational and Fictitious News Stories said our national president has declared that North will go to war if Southerners remove Buhari. This is concussion of the publishers. Righteous imagination will therefore state as follows. A national president, Alaji Yerima Shetima, has never been associated with combative or violent protests to opposing views for whatever reason. A national president has always been a Democrat, following legitimate constitutional process in his agitations, and it is for this reason he has built a record of fearless activism, but free of violence. The AYCF is a platform of matured citizens who strongly believe in deepening Nigeria's democracy. The first claim of war being attributed to our national president was indeed malicious and we will not take it lying low. Just like our national president, we are unapologetic in the promotion of democracy through legal and legitimate means in line with the national nation's constitution which supports presentation of grievances with respect to the rule of law. Mm -hmm. I think uh, <laughs> um, I don't know why every time it's always uh, uh, credited to this man or this group that say they are always talking of war. Of course they you know they've been saying most of these things before now. I think uh, in twenty seventeen when they were giving, giving when they gave a uh, Igbo squid notice that if this if that they are always mentioning that. So uh -huh. maybe it is just always easy or easier for people to just say, oh, yes, that's, this is their stand. Because most of the time, you don't even really understand them because they're always coming from the angle of, a, oh, ethnicity, religion, and what have you. Most times, this man has said some things against Buhari. At times, he will still come and say, oh, it is a plot to do this, plot to do that, because they're always coming from that angle. But thank God he's saying now that uh, he never says so uh, good for him. Even if you are so, of course, one thing is that there is nobody that is a that has monopoly to whatever in this life. Whatever in this life is only God that has monopoly to everything. Nobody, no human being, no group of people can say, Yes, we are the ones that can do it. <laughs> As you are thinking about that, other people will overtake you and they will thrown you. But yes, refuse uh debunk that that it never happened, he never said so. Um Okay, please spread it out. How many are youth like? How many uh, how many are youth like what Buari is doing? Please don't be using or let now whenever you are writing about Arewa. Shetima uh just discovered uh you a psychophant. You are on your own. Call your name. Don't ever mention Arewa in your whatever. I'm from the north also, but all the youth from the north knew that this is the worst government in the history of Nigeria. Whatever you plan, you will use your head to carry it. If you are talking about war, if war breaks out, we in the north cannot survive it because we don't have anything in north, in the north that can survive us. If, other, if others break away, please, Shetima, control your speech. Don't make mention of war. Hence, Buhari is not doing well. Let him sign and go back to Kasina. Or let him resign. Buari used his hand to spoil Nigeria. Okay. Mm, thank you very much, my brother. Why God no go bless this person? Well, mere looking at them, you will always know that no single sense in them at all. Always behaving like a cow. I don't even know how we were having them in this country. I don't know. People are still really blaming them. He said he didn't say so. 
the God that created you is the one who created them and wanted to see them in this country, Nigeria. Now you can challenge your creator. All these people are not serious. Uh, they are supposed to live in the forest. What is not your exclusive right? You can start now. We are waiting in the start. Let's get it over. He's a, he, he is a Democrat who issued ultimatum for Igbos to leave not. I think if what we repair this country, so be it. Enough of this uh, whole thing. Well spoken, good. You remind him. There doesn't stop war. We better fight to finish to be free. He knows where the pendulum will swing. Uh, are we use our uh, words? Mm, destruction of Nigeria or break up. He is not representing Arewa you So please stop this uh, hatred against Arewa. We all want a better Nigeria and need to sanitize Nigeria with harmony. What and has never ceased in the north, so you can continue with it. If war is removed today, Nigeria will never um be uh, will never because of that goes to war. When MQ's election was annulled, we all cried and kept the faith. If the youth can't have a say, please learn from Arab spring let's remove him first we are at war already northern youth never panic yet we are prepared okay ah. he said he never says but people don't even want to hear whether he said it because like i said before because this has been the pattern before now so even if he tried to say some things even if he's not coming out directly to mention it people always envisage that oh this man has said this thing some time ago i think uh, he's still going in that direction but he will come out and say oh people are just trying to misquote him or whatever but he said he didn't say it but people don't even want to believe that honestly okay all right why you please use the same energy to fight insurgency in Katsina, kotangura zamfara niger and other northern states why not use the same energy you are using here to fight uh, this uh, boko people please don't generalize it no not we fight any war you can only fight for your selfish interest. We are suffering here in the north. So keep calm and pray that Almighty God should take charge and bring peace to our nation. I am also a northerner. Uh, Yerima, hmm, you are, where are you, what are you hungry for? If war starts, we will burn Nigeria. And, <laughs> my goodness. Well, I can see clearly that uh, you you don't know what you are talking about. The youth were not saying Buhari should be removed as a president. They want him to do the needful to move Nigeria forward. Exactly. The people are just missing it. Because they're beginning to say it is against a, against a Buhari. If he can do X, Y, Z that they've all demanded. They've demanded. If you do it, then what's the problem? Like uh, this uh, one the cleric man that was talking about uh, that this whole thing is all about uh, to destroy the North and uh, Buhari's government. I don't just understand where people just... All of a sudden, begin to twist things. That means if you don't want to do the right thing for the people, and that is where it will be on seat, uh, uh, will be removed, and nobody is even talking about that. So what is not difficult? And the question is that all the things that uh, these people are supposed to do, whatever is going to involve money, is not going to be coming out from their personal pockets. And I don't know why they are holding on to all of these things. So guys, leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.